world in today's quick coin city update we have iota the coin for the internet of things is now the sixth biggest cryptocurrency out there we'll touch on it quickly and let you know why you should know about this coin we've also got a quick update on bip 148 the split that's happening on august the first with bitcoin and also civic how most of the pre-sale is actually uh, sold out but you can still get involved on july the 21st three big stories let's get started Today is IOTA has burst onto the scene, onto the exchanges. Bitfinex uh, has it trading at 60 cents, which gives it a market cap of one, just under 1.7 billion, which means it's the number sixth biggest uh, cryptocurrency on the market. Uh, massive news. It's been around for a couple of years. They had the ICO uh, yeah, over a year ago, uh, but it just launched on Bitfinex and it's trading at around about 60 cents, which is 20 times what it was uh, about a month ago. Why is this coin such a big deal? Well, it kind of reinvents uh, cryptocurrency and it doesn't use a blockchain. It uses what they call a tangle. Uh, but what that solves is there are no miners, uh, it's instant transactions, and it's zero fees, and it's infinitely scalable. Um, and how that kind of works is when you actually send a transaction, the proof, that, the proof of work that you need to do is actually verifying two other transactions and so that in fact works out to be a bit of your proof of work and because you're adding that computing power to the system that's how it's actually free the supply is fixed um, I'll be doing a bit of a more in-depth video about this maybe a little bit later on but massive news you can actually get it at uh, Bitfinex at the moment it's trading around about 60 cents uh, for a million of them there are going to be 2.7 quadrillion uh, well there are and there are only ever going to be that many and basically they've made this coin specifically for the Internet of Things to be connecting all our devices to have instant transactions and, and zero fees. So very exciting. Microsoft is behind this uh, and the Azure platform. Uh, so Bill Gates put a lot of money into this. It uh, could be the real deal and if it is, it has the potential to really take out a multi-trillion dollar market. Uh, not only overtaking other currencies uh, as a form of payment, but also coming into the Internet of Things, which is going to be uh, industries that is will probably be bigger than the Internet. So look, it's big hype, uh, a lot of people talking about it, definitely worth a look, uh, and we'll, we'll track this as we go. So that's IOTA. Uh, I'll leave links below so you can check out a little bit more information. Um, but yeah, just at the moment, if you want to be looking it up on the actual code, it is IOTA at the moment. I think it's only tradable on Bitfinex, but I'm sure the other platforms will be picking it up uh, pretty quick smart. So stay tuned for information on that. Number two, I just wanted to touch on the, uh, the BIP 148 situation. There is such little, uh, so little information out there at the moment on who's taking which side uh, when, the, when the actual split happens on August the 1st. But what has started to appear are uh, betting markets. Uh, betting on which way things are actually going to go. Bitfinex has started this market. They've got BCC and BCU. BCC is Bitcoin Core, um, which I'm assuming is going to be the uh, BIP148 uh, fork. And then the other uh, option is BCU, which is obviously Bitcoin Unlimited. So uh, at the moment, it's about, uh, the betting is saying that 90% chance that uh, Bitcoin Core is going to be coming away with the bickies. Uh, but again, we'll stay tuned with that. There really is a tiny amount of information on this at the moment, but I will uh, keep you updated as anything comes in. Uh, local Bitcoins did come out with information yesterday saying that they are going to support, uh, they give, give people the option, but they haven't, again, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing firm. So we need to stay aware of that. Last story today is uh, the ICO for Civic, which is due for the crowd sale on the 21st, uh, has already sold out of the pre-sale, which was available to, I suppose, larger investors. Basically, they're looking to raise uh, $33 million, which is going to be have a valuation of $100 million for the company. Uh, one third of that is going to be for the ICO. One third of that they're actually going to give away to companies to start using the actual platform, and then one third they're going to be keeping for themselves. 
Uh, out of that one third that they're using for the crown sale, two thirds have actually already been sold in a pre-sale. Uh, and so what uh, Vinilingam has actually done, instead of it all going to be disappeared in 30 seconds, uh, he's allowing people to actually uh, have a process to buy smaller amounts uh, and not be missed out. So I'll leave a link below, but basically Vinny wrote a uh, bit of a, uh, let's have a look, a quick thing on Medium, just talking about why he wants to spread the number of uh, tokens out. And basically it has to do with he wants to get these coins in as many people's hands as possible uh, and that'll help him with adoption so that he can basically have a monopoly on the, um, uh, the ID industry. So very interesting there. Uh, if you like, be sure to like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.